gloves. Lazar in the black. Rico's gonna wanna keep Lazar at the end of his punches. No fear from Lazar. He'll come right at you all night long. Well, when you fight giants, every time you fight, you can't be scared. You can't respect Rico too much. That's why he's kind of staying there. He's got to counter right back. And if you've watched some of Lazar's highlights online, you know he has a pretty good high kick as well. He's extremely flexible. Lazar, a massive underdog in this fight. If he wanted to win $100 on Rico winning, you'd have to put down 2,000. He's a 20 to one favorite. Nice uppercut from Lazar. Chop away with his kicks. Nice combinations from Rico. Another big advantage Lazar has is that he can take a punch. He'll take the abuse to land his big right hand. And a right hand there. Here, and he's very much in this fight. Landed the best shot of round one. And it's five rounds, and when asked what he thinks about the five rounds, he's like, I like it. It gives me five different opportunities to try to put Rico out. All five judges score 10-9 for Glory's heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoof. Been knocked down, even in training. So Rico has his work cut out for him if he wants to win by KO here tonight. Look for that left kick. Lazar landed a grazing left hand. Waiting for the perfect moment to throw his punch on a counter punch. What is the strike that he's waiting for Rico to throw? Well, he's looking for Rico just to exchange on the inside, and he's looking to throw that overhand right. From Lazar, you'll see him starting opening up, start throwing a little bit more combinations. A lunging uppercut connects for Lazar. Right. They're still going through. But Lazar just ate an uppercut. And an inside low kick. And those inside low kicks Rico throws to the inside back leg is a very difficult shot to pull off. What a jab. You can see Lazar's head snap back. So a good round two. Cool moment quite yet, although the mouth guard being knocked out was pretty spectacular. We'll see the official judges' scores here in a moment. Another 10-9 round for all five judges. So Verhoeven up two rounds to none over Ismail Lazar. And by Rico being active on the outside like this, it makes it very difficult for a forward fighter like Lazar to come in. A shorter pressure fighter, straight attacks work, jabs, right hands, front kicks, because that shorter fighter needs to get on the inside. Now Rico's starting to open up a little bit. Nice combination. Started in the head, ended with a low kick. The combination on the inside that seems to be working is that right up could be the fatigue factor building up. A minute to go here in round three. With a kick distribution for Verhoeven. Still has six minutes left to do something. Rico using his distance beautifully to land that right hand while he was backing up. Not much to cheer about for Lazar. Lazar is known for being bold and fearless. You might have to see some of that here in the last two rounds. Well, a lot of people asked why this was a five-round fight, and Lazar was happy with the five because if that was a three-round fight, the fight would be over. So Lazar does have two more chances if it can go to a fifth round. Look at Rico just trying to chop the tree down. What's well, that combination? He threw a punch, a knee, and a kick all in one com combination. Constantly changing levels. He jabs you, front kicks you, inside low kick, then he attacks the back leg. Lazar told us he's in shape to go 10 rounds.
Does Lazar still have the power after eating all these Perfect. shots? It doesn't seem like it. We'll see, though. He predicted a fifth round. Fifth round knockout. That was a prediction from Lazar. That means it'll happen in these final three minutes. Another rather dominant round for Rico Verhoeven. Don't worry about me. Let's see. Three minutes to go here in this heavyweight super bout. Let's see what Lazar can put together. If you can put any threat and combinations together. Hey, one judge gave round four to Lazar. So there's that moral victory. Courage early from the tight defense of Rico. Just nothing behind those punches for Lazar, even though he gets inside. To go here, the fifth and final round. And you can see when Lazar gets inside, it's just a jab and a right hand that just doesn't have anything behind it. No, there's not much. Rico keeps mixing knees and uppercuts. Oh, there's a left hand, and it may have staggered Rico and with a right and hand. And here comes Rico fighting back. And he makes an uppercut in that combination. The best moment of the fight for Lazar, but does he have the energy to follow it up? Another right hand from Lazar. Oh, and an uppercut from Rico. Ten seconds to go. Rico's going for the home run shot. He finally opened up there. And that's it. Domination for the king of kickboxing. Kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One has it, 49-46. The other four see it the same, 50-45. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Rico Verhoeven.